I'm Brooke from Stella Luna Events and the Stella Luna Shop and today we are talking all about how to pack your wedding decor. Know what you're thinking, Brooke, how hard can it possibly be? You throw some stuff in a box, you put it in a car, you take it to your wedding and you set it up. Seems simple, right? But when you are setting up your wedding and you're getting all your items together, it can become a huge stressor to think about the items that you've missed or try to explain to people where to put things. So this system is gonna help you get super organized and know exactly what you need. So what are the things that you need today? One, you need clear tubs. I really recommend waterproof tubs. They're my favorite, but if you don't have clear tubs or if you don't have waterproof slash resistant tubs, just use what you have. You're also gonna need some painter's tape, some scissors, a black marker, and then you're also going to need your Stella Luna Shop setup and decor sheet, which you can download in the Stella Luna Shop. All right, first things first is you want to try to organize your boxes by category and where they're going. So for example, if you're getting married outside and then you're having a reception indoors in, the, in a barn or somewhere like that, you want to put all your ceremony items in one box, your barn items in another box, and then if you have other locations, try to organize them by boxes. That way it's just gonna make it really easy to go and drop that box wherever it needs to go. Second thing I wanna tell you guys is that when you're packing your items, try to get as organized as possible and get rid of little clutter ahead of time. So for example, um, they don't have them on them right now, but a lot of these little table number stands come with plastic around them take the time to rip all the plastic off if you have things that come with tags on them that you no longer need take the time to take the tags off with the votive candles that we have in here they normally come as two separate pieces so take the time to go ahead and put that piece right in there ahead of time this is going to save you so much time on your wedding day. Now that we have all of our decor items, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start loading them into the box. As I'm doing that, I'm gonna be checking things off the setup and decor sheet. For boxes that are unmarked like this and you can't really tell what's in there, my biggest recommendation is you're gonna take a piece of your painter's tape and label what exactly is in there. So in here we have 12 votive candles. So just simply with a piece of tape on the top, 12 votive candles, and then I'm gonna put them in the box. Should you have to do this to all the boxes? I recommend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that I have my candles packed away with labels and checked off of the setup and decor sheet, I'm gonna keep packing everything up. I'm not packing up this box too full just because there are candles in there and it's gonna be pretty heavy. So you wanna keep that in mind, make sure that you're able to carry things or the boxes aren't actually gonna break. Next step is gonna be to label the boxes. One way that we can go about labeling the boxes, I'm gonna take a spare sheet of paper and I'm gonna write down the contents of everything that is in this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this so it's facing um, on the inside of this but facing upward so I can see. All right, now that we have it nice and taped in there so perfectly, I'm going to go ahead and take our set of into four sheet. This is the back, so again, this is how it will be laying down. So I'm going to go ahead and take our set of into four sheet on top of it. Okay, so if I were to pop this lid on right here and lock these into place. And on the top what it says is reception and what the items are. So if I am a helper and I'm carrying this in, I can easily see what's in there. Once we pop the top off and I open it up, oh, I can see the awesome setup and decor sheet. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it, um, still recommending taping the setup and decor sheet on the inside like we did with the last one. But if you want to waste less paper, you can always just take a piece of masking tape, lay it over the top, and then write all your contents right on the piece of tape. That's another thing you can do, especially if you're not gonna have clear lids. So that is the setup and decor 
packing system. I hope you guys love it. I hope it makes sense. Please tag us on Instagram, Facebook, at Stella Luna Events and show us as you're packing your wedding. We want to cheer you on along the way. Good luck. Keep calm. Keep your cool. And remember what this all event is all about. Thanks, guys. Bye.